What makes a strong relationship? Chemistry, timing, and maturity. And bacon. And bacon. Hi, I'm Whitney, and welcome to the Side Chef Studio Kitchen. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to do one of my favorite recipes of all time, my version of a weeknight carbonara. There are three things that you need to remember to go from no dinner to dinner on the table. Firstly, Parmesan cheese should always be freshly grated. Secondly, timing and temperature is crucial. And lastly, pasta water is what will hold your life together. And that is what we're using to build our sauce today. Let's get started. The first thing that we're gonna do is grate our Parmigiano Reggiano. So with this recipe, there's only really five ingredients, so every ingredient counts. That's why we're gonna use an aged cheese like this so that we can ensure that we get a lot of complexity and depth into our pasta dish. So we're just gonna get grating here because freshly grated is always best. And what we're looking for is roughly two thirds of a cup. Before we move to the stovetop, we're gonna do our egg prep. We have five egg yolks and two whole eggs. When you've got this many egg yolks, don't throw away the egg whites because you can use them for loads of things like egg white omelettes, whiskey sours, and meringues. So let's get started with the egg prep. So just a little tap, using the eggshells as little ladles to separate our yolk and our whites. So final step is just to add two whole eggs. And finally, we're just gonna whisk everything together in with our grated Parmigiano Reggiano. The final part of the egg prep is just to add the seasoning. So we're just gonna do a little bit of salt and freshly ground black pepper. So we're gonna whisk this together until it gets creamy and then we're gonna put our water on the boil so that we can get the pasta going. Setting up your space when cooking a dish like this is really important because we're gonna be moving extremely quickly and having two different pans on at the same time, you wanna make sure that your space is ready. So we have a large pot of boiling water ready to go for our pasta and then we have a large skillet for where we're going to render the fat out of the guanciale. One of the fundamentals of making any pasta dish, please make sure that you salt your pasta water generously. We want our pasta water to taste like the sea. Today I'm going to be using bucatini to make this carbonara, but you can use any type of long pasta that you like. The reason why I really like using bucatini is that it has a tiny hole in the middle of each strand, and I think that that adds a lot of texture to it when it's cooked al dente. So we're going to go in with our pasta. We're going to cook this pasta for 70% of the time that is recommended on the packet so that we can finish cooking 30% of the way with our sauce. That is how you get al dente pasta. Great, so our pasta is happening and this is where things start to speed up. So watch carefully. We're gonna go in with our guanciale into a hot pan. We're gonna let the fat from the guanciale render out and that's gonna form the base of this sauce. So keep this pan moving. And then once we start to get crispy parts like this, we're gonna set aside the guanciale and leave the grease in the pan to coat our noodles with later. So just before we drain our pasta off, we're gonna reserve a cup of pasta water and that is gonna help us to build our sauce later on. Just like that. And then now we're gonna drain our pasta off. To finish our sauce, our pasta water that we reserved earlier, we're gonna add this in slowly so that when we add our eggs back into the pan with the pasta, it doesn't scramble. In our guanciale fat from earlier, we're gonna add in our cooked pasta. So in with our guanciale. Next, what we're gonna do is slowly add in our egg sauce. For the whole time that we're doing this, you need to make sure that your pan is on a low heat so that your eggs don't curdle. Lightly toss through your pasta into your sauce and as the egg cooks, it will all start to thicken together really nicely. If you find that your sauce is a little bit too watery for your liking, feel free to add cheese into the pan right now and that will also help to thicken your carbonara sauce. Just before serving, we're just gonna do a fresh crack of black pepper on top and then we'll be ready to go. This is enough pasta for about four people and I'm just gonna put it into this large platter to serve. Depending on how you feel, you're also welcome to eat it straight out of the pan. 
And we're just gonna finish off with a sprinkling of fresh Parmigiano Reggiano on top. Traditionally, eggs are used to create the creaminess behind this carbonara sauce. And once you have that technique down packed, you can sub in any type of vegetable or protein to make your own version of this dish. It's gonna become one of your favorite go-to quick weeknight meals and I really hope that you enjoy it. Let's eat.